Serving a mighty God, amen, who created the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that in them is, amen. That is the God we are worshiping, amen. And that same God was, he was able to condense himself and become one of us, amen. To lead a simple life. To live life as a man, hallelujah, to walk with man, to touch man, amen, hallelujah. To show us that the way up is through humility, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, amen. He came to live in that humble state, amen. And from that humble state, he began to magnify himself, to show himself that he is that great God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When he was walking with the disciples, one day, he climbed the mountain. Amen. And when there were three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John. Amen. And that day, he revealed his glory to them. Amen. There must be a witness to know that the mighty God that the, Jew, the Israelites were worshiping is that same God that has been made manifest in flesh. Amen. And when Peter saw this glory, he wasn't even wanted to go back again. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My brother, my sister, there is a glorious thing for us to inherit. Amen. If we only believe his word. Amen. If we only accept his word. And live in it and walk in it. Amen. He knows how we are. The psalmist says, he remember our frame. He knoweth that we are dust. Amen. So he said, without me, ye can do what? Nothing. What you have to do is to yield to him. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's to surrender to him. Hallelujah. And he will take you through. And Prophet God gave us a picture of how, how surrounding, to surrender means, to yield means. Amen. That there was a little boy who has a, 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 a like a, a shirt that he wants to wear. Amen. And he took that shirt and he was trying to wear the shirt, but he couldn't. Amen. Hallelujah. He was struggling. Amen. Maybe he was struggling. That he couldn't put on the shirt. Amen. He was putting it on the wrong way. Maybe the front, instead of putting, and then the, 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 the front will come back. He will maybe let the front face him. Amen. And all that. And when it was, the parents were watching this little boy, amen, and they approached him and said, let us help you, amen, that you can be able, let us help you, amen. So they got the shirt from the boy, amen, and they put the shirt on him, because that is the shirt that he wants, that's the shirt that he likes, amen. Hallelujah. So when he surrendered to his parents, he was helped through. Amen. That's how it is. Just yield unto him. Amen. Just surrender unto him. Tonight, let us uh, pray. Heavenly Father, we have come to your presence tonight. As yes, the word has directed us to do. And we say where well, two or three have gathered in your name. There am I in their midst. Father, we know that you are here. Father, may you minister to our needs. Anyone that will come here with a problem, may those problems be ruled away, Lord. Anyone that is standing in the gap for anyone, Lord, may it be granted that that's such a one, O oh God, 
who receive his request in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power of the enemy be broken. May the cord of the wicked be, be torn asunder. And may the people of God be freed. Help us, O oh Lord, as we enter to the pages of your word. And bless us tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So now let's take a Bible. And uh, Uh, John chapter 14, verse 6. I'll just read that verse and then we can be seated. Jesus said unto him, that is to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Amen. We may be seated. Tonight, we will just look at five masks. Amen? Our subject is the five masks that a believer can stay in the word of God. Amen? Or the five masks that a believer can stay in line with the word. Amen? May the Lord add his reading, press into the reading of his word. The prophet God said to keep God's commandment, to do anything right for God, we are picking our inspiration from trying to do God a service without his will. But that is our subtitle, amen? Hallelujah. We must know the five must in order to be able to stay in line with God's word. Every believer, amen, must try to know that five must, amen. And that is what is in all the scriptures, amen. And every man of God has, has walked in this line, in these steps, amen. To keep God's commandment to do anything right for God, do God a service correctly, there is five must to do God's service correctly. Amen? No matter how sincere a man may be in doing it, doing God a service, this five must must be there. Amen. Hallelujah. Doing God a service, this five must, must be there. It must be with the word. One, it must be with the word. Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, it must be According to the word of God. Amen? Because we cannot do anything outside the word of God. Amos 3 said, The word of God comes to the prophets. Amen? Let us read Amos 3 because it links with these. Amen? Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Amen. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, our God that we are serving also is a prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. The first prophet that we know in the scripture was God himself. Amen. 
He descended. After the fall, he descended. Amen. And he prophesied. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's Genesis 3. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. This is what God said. Amen. And this has been the pattern for all the prophets. Every prophecy that comes must be in the light of this prophecy. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God himself has prophesied that he will, he will restore man back again. Amen. Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Let's read that portion of scripture. Genesis chapter 3. God gave a prophecy. Amen. God himself. Amen. So we know that the, the prophet is God. Amen. Is God in the prophets. Amen. That's why their word is the word of God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because God speaks to mouth to God speak mouth to mouth to the prophet. Amen. I mean a vindicator prophet. That's why this end time we must know who a vindicator prophet is. Amen. That is one, one of the, the must. Amen. That a believer must know. Hallelujah. And that is what we will dwell upon is tonight. But let us just name some of the must. Amen. And he said, no matter how there is five masks to do God's service correctly. No matter how sincere a man may be in doing it, doing God a service, this, this five masks must be there. It must be with the word and at the season. Amen. Hallelujah. And it must be according to his word that he has been spoken. Amen? It got to be according to his word, according to his time and his season. It must be given according, it must be given according to the person he has chosen to do it by. Amen? That person must be a predestinated person, amen, of God. It must be according to his word, amen. According to his time, according to his program. It must it must be by the person he has chosen to give it and to do it. Hallelujah. So it might be by the person he has chosen. It might be by the season. Hallelujah. And it might be according to the word. Hallelujah. And it might be according also to the program. Amen. Or the path. Of God. Hallelujah. Let's see an example. Moses, when he, that person that is supposed to do the will of God, or God has chosen him for that generation, for the purpose of his people, can never run, run away from that purpose. Amen. So Moses tried to run, uh, Moses tried to run from it. Ask a question. Take somebody else, but God chose Moses to do it. Amen. Many of them Paul tried to get out of it. Many others. But it got to be by the one he chooses to do it. It must come, it must come first. To his prophet. Amen. The word of God must come to his prophet. Amen. 
You know, Abraham said, or oh God told Abraham, your seed shall sojourn on the land for uh, uh, as 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 on a land for 400 years. And after 400 years, I will come and deliver them. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the word of God. Amen. And when the season come for that deliverance, amen, when that five, 400 years reached, that was the season, amen, that the children of Israel has to be delivered, amen. That was the time, amen, and the word of God cannot fail, hallelujah. Therefore, if the word of God cannot fail, then that word has to be fulfilled. And that word has to come to a prophet, amen. To do that work. Hallelujah. So when Moses was at the backside of the desert. Looking after the flocks of Jethro. His father-in-law. Hallelujah. God appeared to him. The word has come to him. Amen. It must be a chosen heart person. Amen. And it must be in his season and time. The word has come to Moses. Amen. Because it was a time and season for God to deliver the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So the word come to Moses. Amen. And said, I've come down ahead the cry of my people. When the season comes, it put the people of God be under pressure. Amen. And they begin to pray. Hallelujah. They begin to feel a pool. That there's a time that we have to go. We, we need a time that we need a deliverance. Amen. There's a time that we must come out of this bondage. Hallelujah. So they will start crying and praying. Amen. But God is an answer prayer God. Amen. And God knew. And in that season. God cannot do nothing but to hear the prayer. Amen. And as they were praying, God appeared unto Moses at the backside of the desert. Amen. Because the Bible said the Lord God can do nothing unless he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophet. The prophet God said, God uses man. Amen. A man that he has chosen and vindicated for the purpose of that work. Amen. Hallelujah. And what that chosen vessel is the only one that would, can do that purpose. He cannot run away from that purpose. That's what the prophet God said. Amen. And it is true in the scripture. Paul, one time, facing the persecutions and the hardships and things that he was going through. He willing that he has get out from that ministry. But he said, woe is me. If I will, let, I will get out of the ministry. Amen. How? Because he's a chosen vessel for a purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. He has been called. Amen. To the, to the Gentiles, amen, to give the word of God to them, to br bring a people for his name, amen. God has chosen him and he become a pattern for all the subsequent messengers that God used, amen. To know who a messenger, amen, a gentle messenger is, amen, or who is a messenger of the certain church ages, his ministry and life must pattern that of what Paul. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Brown said that is the pattern that he used to, and by inspiration and revelation of the Holy Ghost, he selected the messengers for the seven church ages. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And he himself said, I have preached what Paul preached. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The same under the same anointing and inspiration of God. Amen.
It's got to be that way. His time, his season, and when he said it will be. Amen. And a man that he chose, and it must come to the prophet. Amen. And brother, it's necessary, hallelujah, to know who a prophet is. Amen. Because there are so many voices going out claiming themselves to be prophets. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't say there will be other prophets. Amen. Because in the time of Paul, Paul being a major prophet, there were other prophets like Agabus who were true prophets. Amen. Hallelujah. But God always uses one man for a dispensation. Amen. Hallelujah. And even in the time of Moses, too, there were prophets. Amen. Hallelujah. But we must know the vindicate prophet that God has vindicated for the particular work for that season. Amen. According to the word. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Because he must come by the word. Amen. And the word of God, the word of God, that when God in, in time past, God himself come down to give, God gave the prophecy in Genesis, gave the prophet in time of Abraham, amen? Hallelujah. But now, he said, now I will use, I will use men, amen? At that, at that man of Horeb, amen? He said, if we don't want God to speak to us, because we, this present, we cannot stand it. We are not built for that persons. Amen. Hallelujah. The so God said, now from this time on, I will, choose, I will use man. Hallelujah. I will choose man and I will speak to them. Hallelujah. So actually, it's God who is a prophet. Amen. To us. But he has taken a vessel of a man. Hallelujah. To do his work. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And he has made these men, built these men. They are special built men, amen, for that presence of God, amen. Moses was a special built man, amen, for the presence of God. Hallelujah. Because all, all other men, other men could not. They, they testified that they, we cannot stand, we cannot stand in this presence, amen. Because we are not built for that, amen. But God built Moses for that presence. Amen. Hallelujah. And I tell you, the prophet of the end time was also built for the presence of God. Amen. That they can go in and get the word of God to the people. Amen. Hallelujah. I say, I had a prophet, I speak to them in dreams and visions, but out of my prophet, I speak from mouth to mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I speak from mouth to mouth. The presence of God comes down. Amen. Hallelujah. He meets the presence of God. And it takes the word of God from the presence of God and gives it to the people. Hallelujah. So in that message, trying to do God, God said, probably God said that our prophet is Jesus Christ. Amen. Because it's Jesus Christ in all the seven church ages. It was Jesus Christ in the time of Paul. It was Jesus Christ in the time of Arrhenius. It was Jesus Christ. Amen. In all the other ages. Because John said, that's what it must be according to the word. Amen. John said, I saw him standing in the midst of what? The church. Hallelujah. Let's read Revelations. Revelation chapter 
Verse 12. And I turned and see a voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And the midst of the seven golden candlesticks are one like unto a son of man. Clothed with garment down to the foot. And get about the paths with a golden girdle. His head, his head and his hair are white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like the fine brass, as if it burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of the mouth went two edges sword. And his countenance was as the sun shined in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of death and hell. And have the keys of hell and death. Amen. Let us read the verse 20. He said, and the, and the mystery of the seven stars which thou sowest in his right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, and the seven stars are the angels of the seven church ages. And the seven candlesticks are, thou sowest are the seven churches. Amen. So it's Jesus Christ in all the seven church ages. Amen? Hallelujah. And the messengers were in his right hand. Amen? Signifying authority. Amen? Hallelujah. That they have to bring the word of God to their generation. Amen? And that generation must believe the word. Hallelujah. And those that believe the word, amen, will will be in Christ. Hallelujah. That's what Paul Brabant said. If the, 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 the bride of Christ, Paul will get in, then my bride also will get in. Amen. Because I've preached what Paul preached. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, the five must. Every servant of God. Amen must fall into this five mast. Amen? Of the word of God. If you fall away from this word, five mast, you'll be doing God a service without his will. Amen? And let us see what the prophet God said about David. Amen? That they had accepted David's way. They had accepted the priest's way. They had accepted the scribe's way. The theologians, but not God's way. Nathaniel, Nathan, was, was the prophet of the day. Later on, Nathan told them how to do it. We all know that story. The judgment of David was right. Amen. Hallelujah. That the ark must come back to Israel. Amen. But then, he must know that there is a prophet on the, on the land. Amen. And they must consult that prophet before they make that move. Amen. Hallelujah. But they ignore the prophet on the land. And they went in by themselves. And they did the wrong thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the, a prophet will never let you deviate from the word of God. A prophet will always bring you back to the word of how God has instituted. Of, of how God has laid down. A prophet will always point you to the word. Hallelujah. 
But because they went by their own counsel, by their own judgment, they missed the mark. Amen. They thought that they had to make it something that would be beautiful. Something that, oh, men would cherish. But that was not God's way. Amen. It must be by God's way. It must be by God's path. Hallelujah. So David and his captains and the priests and the so-called uh, the, the people of, influ of influence make a move to go and bring the ark to Israel. Amen. And what they did was that they, 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 they make a beautiful cut. Amen. That, they, that the, this, the cut supposed to carry with horses and charros before it. Amen. Hallelujah. It was so beautiful in the eyes of men. Hallelujah. But God was not pleased with it. Amen. Hallelujah. When the ark was coming to Israel, hallelujah, the horses were driving, driving it to Israel. Amen. It came to a point that the, 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 the ark, amen, the ark of God was going to fall. Amen. And when this ark was going to fall, there was an innocent man, amen, who thought that he must oh, go and help the ark of God. Amen. But that was not his place. Amen. God had reserved that place for the Levites. Amen. So the Levites has to handle that ark. They are the only people. And the way that this ark has to be handled is that they might, it might be carried on the shoulders of the Levites. Amen. It might be carried on the shoulders of the Levites. Wherever it goes. Amen. But now... David is doing something that is not according to the way of God. And this innocent man was trying to help that the ark will not fall. When he approached the ark, he was slain. Amen? Because that was not his place. Amen. Hallelujah. He is not, the ark is supposed to be handled by the man of God. Amen. It's supposed to be handled by the Levites. It was supposed to be on the shoulders of the Levites. So my brother, my sister, amen, every each one of us must be able to know his place in Christ. Amen. And wherever God has placed you, God will prosper you. Amen. That's why Paul, in, the, in, in, a, in let's see, in Corinthians chapter 12, Paul says something. That we are a body, amen? And even the, 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 little, the tiny thing in the body, amen, if it is not there, the body is not even perfect, amen? And all the members are working together for one purpose, amen? So also it is the body of Christ, Amen? Hallelujah. Everything must work in unison. Amen. And this topic that I, when I was reading, the, trying to go to serve, it caught my attention. I find out that we, the believer, the bride, we were able to know these five months. Amen. Of these five months of, of the scriptures. Amen. And there will be, but for God said there will be a revival. Amen. There will be a revival. Hallelujah. Then now God revealed them to David and by the ministers and by the people and by the captains of thousands and, and captains of hundreds, but not by Dathan. Who had thou said the Lord? And Moses said, he, Amos 3 7. And the, Lord, and the Lord said, He would do nothing until He showed that prophet of the age first what to do. See what He did. 
They went straight out of the word of God. Went and put the ark upon a new cart. See? So they went about to do it apart from God's commandment. And God's provided way. And that is what happened today, friends. That's, that is why we have had so many great crusades and so forth and no results. Amen. If we have, if we fall, if the church will fall in line with these five months of the word of God, amen, there will be a result. There will be a performance. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe you may not be getting it as it is right now. Amen. But with time, as maybe we, we continue to dive into these things, we will see how important it is. Amen. More infidelity, more sin. I tell you, this nation is gone. Not only this nation, but other nations. This nation, like England, other age, has been the process for all the rest of the nation. For God said the ark must be on the shoulders of the hood, the Levites. Amen? Because people has, has, has misconstrued these five months of God. Amen? That is why all these things, all the chaos, all the sin, all, all the failures we are facing in life. Amen? David should have consulted the prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. And I will look into the word consult. Consult means to seek acts of advice or seek opinion of a guide to one's own judgment. Though your judgment is your own judgment, but you must what? Seek an advice. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How good it is. Amen. That when you have your own judgment, you must even take it the presence of God. Amen. For him to establish it. Hallelujah. Before you move forward. Hallelujah. The prophet God said, and that is what has happened today. When men, no matter how sincere, try to do him a service outside of his provided way of revealing it. He always mess up. God set it in his way. Man, no matter how sincere you try to do it outside of that, you mess it up. Amen. God told Balaam, that prophet, he was a prophet. The prophet Balaam, he was a prophet. And the word came to him exactly. He said, don't go down there. That is my selected, that is my choice. And Balaam got with the dignitaries and the military men, preachers, influential men or influenced men, and said, well, I tell you, the king will. See, it just pattern with David. Pattern with today. Amen? Just taking everything in type, you will see it. You see? But the graduate said, the priest said, the scribe said, the theologian said, this is the way it's supposed to be done, but it wasn't, and it is proved it wasn't. And God told Balaam, he was a prophet first. First, he told him, don't go down. But the influence of these other men caused him to do it contrary to what God said, do it. And it became a curse instead of a revival. Amen. Because 
he moved outside that five mass of God. Amen. Hallelujah. My brother and sister, if the church moved outside the five masses of God, we cannot see the revival of God. If you want to see the revival of God, then we must be in line with the five masses of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We must be in that five mass. Amen. We must be according to his word. In his season, amen. The person that, oh, the, uh, uh, according to his past in the program, amen. And the one that he has chosen for the age, amen. Hallelujah. Paul said, Be ye followers of me as I of follow of Paul, Christ, amen. Because I was not disobedient of the heavenly vision. Amen. And I have not hide nothing from you, but I have declared the whole counsel of God to you. Amen. What I receive from the Lord is what I give it to you. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister, we must know our time, our season, and the age we are living in. Amen. We must know who the word of God has come to. Amen. Because the Bible, the Bible says that God, the Lord God will do nothing unless he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Amen. So if we have, we are in a season that we have, suppose, we are in a season that is the season of the bride. Hallelujah. Then there also must be a prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. Then there must be a message, hallelujah, that will bring that bride, that will make that bride, that will bring that bride into manifestation. Amen. Paul said we are washed by the washing of the water by the word. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of the prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. God said, it is the word that counts. The word of the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord, yes, sir. See? They that have God's spirit in them, look at the promise for the day and watch and wait until they see it. Then they say, that is it. Amen? God reveals to them. Like Nathaniel, Philip went and found Nathaniel. Nathaniel said, now wait a minute. I know that is promised, but let me see it. And when he saw it, he said, that is it. <laughs> Amen. The woman said, now I know. I have heard all kinds of theologians. I have done this and that, I've read the Bible myself. I know that we, we are, there is a Messiah coming that will do this thing. So you must be his prophet. He said, I am he. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I am he. Amen. So tonight, How do you see him? Amen? Tonight, what is your revelation about this message of this hour? Amen? Hallelujah. Tonight. Wait, as Isaiah said, they that wait upon the Lord Shall renew what? Your strength. 
Amen. Wait on the Lord in the line of these five months that we have talked about. According to his word, according to the season, according to his person, the program. Amen. Hallelujah. And according to one that he has also chosen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the word of God comes to the prophet. The prophet alone. Not only ordinary prophet, but a vindicated prophet for a purpose for that age, for the season. Amen? We are talking about the season. Hallelujah. It must be in the season. Hallelujah. Because Moses was a prophet for a, for a, for a season. A season of what? That season was a season of deliverance. Amen. That season has come that the children of Israel might be delivered. Amen. And we also we are in a season that of the bride. Amen. A season of the rapture. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You must know your time, your season, your prophet. Amen. And the word of your age. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And how can you know even the word of your age if there is not, if there is not a prophet? Amen. Hallelujah. It will take a prophet to make you to know the word of your age. Hallelujah. It took a prophet to let the children of Israel know that the word of their age, that is the age of your deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Took a prophet. Amen. No, they were praying, they were crying because they were going through uh, rigorous uh, oh, labor. Amen. They were suffering. They were under bondage. Amen. Hallelujah. They were crying to the Lord. But it took most to let them to know that, that now is the time. Amen. To, point, to bring them back to the world. Hallelujah. Of God. And we have had a prophet like unto most. Amen. He has brought us back to the word. Hallelujah. And I show us that there is coming. There is coming a time. Amen. There is coming a time. There is coming a time. There is coming a time of rapture. Amen. Hallelujah. And it will take them that are restored back to the word to make that rapture. Restore back to Pentecost. Hallelujah. Amen. And the prophet God said that Pentecost, that original Pentecost, amen, the book of Acts, being restored is restored with cross. Amen. Because every restoration comes with a cross. Amen. Hallelujah. So there will be a dynamism in this age that people even will not die. Amen. That they will be changed. Hallelujah. To come in, in any season, we see the manifestation of this thing. If other prophecies have been made manifest, have been fulfilled, then this same prophecy of God will be fulfilled. Amen. The trumpet of God shall sound. Amen. And dead in Christ shall rise. They that are alive will be changed. Amen. Join up with them and meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. And it must come by a message. Amen. Hallelujah. As a message preparing a people for this great day. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We shall call the pastor in. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, hot a foretaste of glory divine. Hell of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washing his blood. I wish every believer would read that message, trying to do God a service without, without, uh, without his will. Amen. And in it, he stayed the five masters of God. Amen. The five masters that the believer must fall in. Hallelujah. The five masters that we that we, if we, a believer fall in line with it, 
will see the result of God. The revival. Amen. Read that message book. Trying to do God a service that is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Show sure example of how some men did it without did it without his will. David and the rest. Amen. It is take, take these five masses to put you into the will of God. Amen. If you want to know, if you, you want to know you are in the will of God, that we, you must know these five masses. Hallelujah. This is my story. This is my song.